Are you a director, manager or chairman looking for someone to facilitate a meeting or event so that you can participate fully? Or has your boss asked you to find a facilitator for an away day? Are you wondering how to go about choosing someone who will deliver what you are looking for and not let you down? Would it help to know what facilitators do, how they add value and how to choose one to suit your needs? Well, look no further. Welcome to this special video series from the Director Development Center. Please welcome your host, International Corporate Facilitator, Richard Winfield. Hi there, and welcome to the first in a special series, How to Choose a Facilitator. Many people who contact us have not used facilitators before and don't always know how to go about finding the best person. So, how can you be sure that you choose someone who will deliver what you're looking for and won't let you down? What questions should you ask and what benefits can you expect? There can be lots of reasons for organising an away day or a corporate retreat and employing a facilitator. However, there are some things that will be common. You will want everyone to be able to participate on an equal footing. Nobody needs to be the chairperson. You want a combination of flexibility and structure that will deliver the agreed outcome. You might want to deal with difficult issues. And you will certainly want to improve relationships and strengthen the team. And you will want to have fun. Part of the role of a facilitator is to help you identify these beforehand and agree on specific outcomes. In this special series, I shall suggest when a facilitator can help what a facilitator does, and describe some typical events that benefit from an independent facilitator. The first step is to decide what you want to achieve. This is really important because it might affect your choice of facilitator and will certainly affect your choice of venue. Your facilitator should help you refine this at your briefing meeting. However, it would be useful for you to discuss this before you start your search for a facilitator. We can take it as read that you're looking for improved communication and relationships, that you expect the delegates to have fun, and that the outcome will include long-term change. So focus on the change. What do you want to achieve in the short term and the longer term too? Here are some examples. Completing a strategy plan or budget. Improving communication. Building a new team or incorporating new members. Discovering and adopting a vision, mission and value statement. Confronting and resolving an issue of poor motivation and morale. A combination of training and process review. Developing a new product or responding to a change in the market. These will require different approaches from your facilitator, so make sure you're clear on your outcome as early as possible. It will save you a lot of time. Basic facilitation helps the group solve a problem or undertake a task by providing structure and process for the event. This might be ideal for a conference or company presentation. In developmental facilitation, the facilitator both helps the group to solve a problem or achieve an outcome and helps them to improve their process and develop their skills. The objective is to raise performance to a higher level. Developmental facilitation requires significantly more time and facilitator skill and it is more likely to create fundamental change. Facilitators design, organise and facilitate conferences, away days, strategy and budget planning meetings to achieve your agreed outcome. They enable you to delegate organisation, programme design and management of the event so that everyone can participate equally. At a conference, they can play the role of chairman or even of host on behalf of the organisation. Strategy planning and budget preparation activities are likely to be less formal and justify getting away from day-to-day -day interruptions to focus on a specific task. Development and training workshops require a facilitator who can include elements of coaching, training and team building. 
They might form part of a comprehensive management development program or an HR consultancy project. The value of away days and residential corporate retreats is that they remove the team from outside distractions for sufficient length of time to contemplate strategic and governance issues, including the team's own development. Team away days and training days are a popular and powerful means of addressing current issues, developing strategy and improving the performance of individuals and teams. A different environment, no interruptions and a skilled facilitator. Corporate retreats help to solidify a management team or board of directors and enhance its effectiveness by giving members time to get to know each other and to do long range or strategic planning for the organisation. Team building for high performance requires a comprehensive approach. Depending on the where the team is, this could include learning how teams are formed, psychometric profiling of team members, communication skills, analysis of team processes, and group work on vision, mission, and values. Whether your objective is to get to know each other better, to build a team that works together better, to be more innovative, or get down to work on a budget or business plan, you will, get, you will achieve much, much more if you get away for a day or more change the environment and allow time for the process. If you have the opportunity, an overnight residential element greatly increases the benefit. Using a facilitator enables everyone to participate fully and provides a safe environment in which to confront sensitive issues. It's important that whoever you choose is able to draw upon the skills and processes required for event appreciate the culture of the organisation and relate to the individuals involved. You might also wish to consider whether this is likely to be a one-off event or whether you're looking for a longer-term relationship. You can use the link at the end of this video to download your copy of the full guide How to Choose a Facilitator. In the meantime, I look forward to guiding you through this course, and until we meet again, from me, Richard Winfield, best wishes. Thank you for watching this video. It is part of the special series, How to Choose a Facilitator, from the Director Development Centre. To download your copy of the full guide, go to www.corporatefacilitator.co.uk.